Hey folks, welcome to the Quest Roll. In this video, I'm going to talk about a note-taking app, which is a game changer for all TTRPG players or game masters. Now, the one thing that I feel most of us have problems with is keeping track of the NPCs, the locations, the item information, the the whole quest information, and jumping between each of them. Right when when you're when you want to link when you want to move to an NPC who the players find uh, in a specific location and you're not able to track the NPCs quickly or switch to the NPCs information quickly, right? That has been a big problem for me. So I have actually found a great note note taking app that makes it very quick to jump between different types of information you require at this at that moment, right? I would like to point out. Um, before I switch to the note-taking app page, this I am hosting the Dragon Bane series, the adventure series in the core rulebook. So you will see some information regarding some uh, regarding the adventures. So if you're a player who's playing the Dragon Bane series, please do not watch this video. Um, there are spoilers for you, so please do not watch this video. If you're a DM or uh, DM or GM of any other TTRPG video then go ahead do watch it this is going to be really helpful this, the next thing I want to say is this is just a overview on how I have set up the the notes and how quickly I can access it because of the features that this note taking app provides I will not go in detail on how to create these notes I'll have a link and some I'll add a, li a link bubble on, in the video uh, of another content creator who's actually spoken about it, who's actually gone in a little more depth. I just want to showcase how awesome that this note-taking app is. And this note-taking app is called Capacities, by the way. And let's let's move on now. <laughs> Let me show you what exactly I'm talking about. Yes. So this is my note-taking app, Capacities flow i'm going to talk about the structure that i followed and how it helps me quickly switch between different uh, information that i require when i host a game right so now capacities doesn't follow uh, the folder structure of most most mod most other note taking apps it is object type structure so what that means is each of your object types are structured differently so in this case, I'll show you what the object types you can create. So you can create your own object types and add in your properties if you want. But there are already preset object types. So in this, in my document, in my space that I've created, and this space is my Dragon Bane space. So in my Dragon Bane space, I have created objects of location, tables for my random tables, tags. So tags are something straightforward so whichever object has that same tag will be linked to every other object of that same tag so that's what tags are for quotes is basically uh quotes that i like f in this example i've i made quotes object for information that any npc could give the player and i'll explain that what i mean by that in a while peoples have the NPC ob uh, objects that I have. So all of my NPCs information are in under peoples. Then there is images. That is basically all the images that I've uploaded. Pages are basically objects that can have information and images in it. So in this case, let me uh, open up. Yeah, let me open up the opening session, which is basically how the players are introduced to the Misty Vale. Of the Dragon Vein universe, so I have the image, the mini map, the mini terrain image of Drag Dragma Pass, and then there's a situation, and uh, this is the dis description I could give the players. You know, when they enter into the Dragma Pass, this is the information about the the event that could happen, the ambush that the players may face. So yeah, this is page. So page is basically like a, do a simple document that can have inf information regarding whatever, right? The adventure it could be it could have images, links, or anything of that sort right organization is uh, which I haven't used yet but basically you could create organizations of underworld groups right like uh, different un underworld organizations within your world uh, government organizations that are there governing that city or place or whatever right so that's what organizations could be used for and these are all the 
uh, object types you can use and you can also create your own custom one which i believe the video that i'll link talks about it right so now let me talk about the structure that i follow so each object oops, sorry each object has its own collection so in my uh, dragon bane adventure uh, that i'm following there is a location called outskirts so i've created a collection of that where only outskirt information will be stored so if i click on outskirt these these are all the out outskirt locations and this is how i've structured my my object so as you can see here as well i've structured all, all the tables specific to certain locations or certain events or have a generic uh, table like this right so let me just show you the outskirt part so in this case i have i have a base uh, location info which is basically the gm map and each location what i've done is i've created a hyperlink so 2a has its own hyperlink that will take me to another another location page that will describe that location so 2a um, location that is the south gate right and here i have a small description and i also link the npc that could that the players will encounter i also link what could happen so in this spot at the south gate they could uh, encounter the ha hardy the guard the guard captain they could also face one uh, event one or five from the outskirt table so now the best part is the graph graph view in the graph view it will show you links to what could happen so in this case now from the south gate there is an npc called hardy that the player can encounter right who's a village guard in in the south gate they could also face the outskirt event so outskirt event is basically the random table but according to that uh, south gate information only one or five can happen right so that's what uh, i can do i can basically roll for yes or no and then decide which which one of these the players could encounter right so this graph view actually makes it very easy for me to jump between different types of information so from the location i can get the information of what table i need to roll from the location i can get to the information of what npcs that the player may may encounter so that i can quickly you know role play them when required right so another example let me say um another like, let me go to the temple area okay so if the players go to this location called temple area i already get this information from the temple area page right and also get to know that okay they may encounter leonara there right one another, another npc and if they do encounter i can quickly click on her and get the information that i need so as you can as i'm showing you you understand like i can switch between different types of information that i need to give my players right and that's the best part that i like about this now uh let me talk about tags right tags are something that i mentioned tags are something that helps me link uh, a lot more objects in in uh, in my note so let me give an example of that so i've linked all the uh, npcs that are th that the players may find in the outskirt with the tag outskirt so these are all the npcs from outskirt and the npcs from botlet that's another location in the um in the in the in the in misty vale right and there is i've also what i've also done is there are some cultists right followers so i have linked these cultists together by adding cultist tags so if i let's say i open up um open up uh, leonara's information right so from her i can actually find out who else are related right so let's say now yeah cultist right so she's a she's a cultist and because i know that she's a cultist let's say she's being interrogated right and i need to know who are the uh, who who are the other npcs she's actually uh, communicating communicating with or who which other npcs are are working under her and she and the player gets a successful interrogation or whatever right um intimidation or whatever yeah so i can quickly click on cultists and know okay these are the members that she can talk about you know talk about uh quasimund and say that you know he is the guy who's who's handling everything and blah 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 right you get you get what i'm saying so it's easy to actually quickly jump between different types of information that you have you know that this person knows this much 
and this is what i this so for example like i said let's go back to leonara again so she she is part of the cultist and if the player ask about the cultist i can switch to cultist information and i know that these things are something that she can give the players if she's being interrogated right and the court the court is something that i uh, the way i'm handling court is court in this example amdurman is an i go quest item that the players can find that the players are actively trying to find now in the graph view as you can see i have created a separate code for it because let's assume in this case okay first let's watch let's see the the graph view in the graph view the two npcs that can actually talk about or i have to role play this information is uh malad maladuk who's a orc chieftain she's a of orc chieftain and then there's uh dranath he's a kind of like a hermit you know who's secluded who's in the outskirts outskirt itself but he's like a religious person right like a weird religious person so these two people can actually give this information but let's assume that my players do not reach to uh, talk to them you know let let's say they they just ha- they, they get excited about one npc that i just added as a filler and then you know i have to build up i have to bring them back to the actual main quest right so i can quickly create an npc and link them to this que- uh, quest code so you know what let me do that let me let, let me just make that to understand like how quickly you can do this so let's say i i create a new person right collection npc i'm going to say person's name is a uh, quest man right right and then i can easily add that link to him right just at the spur of the moment when they are talking about it right and then later on just push it in so now if i go to graph now if i go to amdurman i have the quest man i have the maladuk and the dranath linking to that code and that's how quickly i can make links and quickly establish relationships between uh, any information or any person or anything of that sort and this is why i feel that it's going to be very useful for to to manage your notes when you are hosting or as a player as well when you want to track which npcs you spoke to or the relationship between other npcs it can help players as well uh, but yeah you get it right how quickly you can jump between different uh, object types and how easy this relationship uh, this graph link actually helps you jump between different uh, informations and the fact that you can actually structure your uh, data this way with collections makes it easier to handle as well it's not like you only have to rely on graph view you can since it's structured this way i know okay my role table has all the the generic tables right my fear table my traveling mishap table my outskirt table collection would have tab- uh, role uh, random tables specific to outskirts and so on and so forth you get what what i'm trying to say right so i think this is a great note taking app if you want to manage your uh your session info and quickly create uh, relationships between these uh, objects that you create <laughs> so i think i think this is what i wanted to showcase uh, regarding capacities i hope you did like this video i hope it turned out to be useful for you guys if you are interested to get to know how to manage this a little more i will have the link of uh, another content creator who's who've, who's explained this even better like in more detail right i was just trying to showcase the features and he's going to give a little more information on how to create these objects and stuff like that i will have a link of it somewhere here so you can click on that and watch that video but if you do like my video if you if you uh, enjoy, if you did enjoy my content please like the video please do subscribe and please do comment on what note taking app you use and what do you think about this note taking app when compared to yours right let's start a conversation and see how what note taking app you guys use and if you are really enjoying this video please do subscribe i try to create ttrpg contents of uh, how to create player characters how to a uh, little bit about the core mechanics my intention here is learning a lot of ttrpg systems not just dnd i have learned out um, outgunned and i have a video on that i've i've i'm learning dragon vein and i'm hosting and recording my videos on the sessions that i host 
I want to learn Vason. Um, I want to I want to play Shadow Dark. So there's a lot of things that I want to try out, and I want to share it with you guys. So please do subscribe if you're interested, and please do like this video, right? <laughs> so take care, guys. I I really enjoyed making this video for you all, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Take care. The Quest Roll. Signing off.